part two of the video. So here we're going to focus on the painting. Um, I've done all the printing in the first episode. Now we're going to just look online what kind of color I'm going to use and just then jump into it. Let's go. Here I'm going with the primer. So black first. I always go black. I like it. It's Citadel uh, spray can, the primer. Doing all my parts. Then I'm going later with white on top. I always want to have white, I know I'm gonna have some bright color, especially for the skin, so I'm doing the highlight in white. Then later on I'm trying to find my color, so I went online, the model in the game is mostly purple and pinkish and reddish. So here I'm just looking at what I have and putting them on the side so I know like what I'm gonna need. I ended up using probably like Four, mainly four type of paint but that, that's good to just have a look and see what, what you can use. I have black and white as well obviously. And I have quite a few purple and kind of reddish here you know, but the, the, main, the main thing was two purple I think. So when you start I'm going straight for just the, the, the base coat. I want to base coat all my model to get an idea first. I know the colors are not right exactly what I want but if I if I can go with a start it's gonna help me a lot. So here I'm going with the fur with some kind of purple and, and the skirt magenta. I'm not sure <laughs> what's the difference, which one is which but I'm just going for it. I know the color is a bit different, so I have two different purples, so I'm going with it. And then I know later I'm gonna darken it, I'm doing some highlight, change the color a bit. So I want to get my idea first. The sleeves are the same color as the fur. Here on the skin, the, the primer, the white primer really help for the cover. I even try to change a bit the color here. I'm probably like mixing the, the skin with some bone. And try to have a, a better color. I don't forget all the parts that I have. Same color, but I gotta I gotta make it happen at the same time. I'm trying to define some shadow on the skin here. So going on the seams and just get some volume even if I'm gonna go back and forth a lot it's just too good to try everything is trial and error I'm applying a lot of gold there is a lot of gold on this mini and uh, I'm finding it's really hard to apply if you want a nice coat of it you, you really have to go a couple of times quite tough here on the sleeve, the, the start of the sleeve is purple at the bottom and pink on top. There is like a gradient going on, so that's what I'm doing here. Then I'm applying the first wash, so everything is pretty dark, so I'm gonna apply a lot of wash in between my, my highlight and everything. So I'm going on all the purple, the skirt, the fur, and the gold as well. And then later on with some brighter like brighter purple and some kind of pink as well i'm just going on really quickly and i add some volume here i'm defining some some of the, the seam in between the fur and then i start the color like the tip of it is pinkish so i start with pink from the middle to the to the end and here after I'm using blue wash so the I want to change the color I want to blend my purple and my pink but I want to change the color as well so I'm using blue to make the transition it's going really well and when it's dry I'm going back with some really bright pink and highlighting the, the, the tip and the edge of the fur and here I'm doing some work on the legs so it's really like messy and harsh but I just want to get an idea. Like every time you apply on skin, it's really hard to know, especially on the long legs like this. You know you're gonna have like brush, stroke and everything. So you just go back and forth until you're happy. 
I'm giving some volume and some light on the skirt here. I will come back later on with wash again to darken the whole thing. I'm just going kind of quickly as well. I'm not really blending right now because I know later on the, the wash is going to blend and darken a lot of it. Like here, with, as you can see when the wash was applied after it's pretty smooth. Then I'm doing some small highlight with gold. All the swing between the, the clothes, they're supposed to be like gold. So that's what I'm going for here. Working on the hair, so I probably had some to mix some color to get the base coat here. And then with some pink, I'm going to, to define the volume. After it, I'm using red wash, so it's the same as the fur. I want to change, I want to blend the two colors together and I want to change the color as well. So I'm using red wash, I want to, to make it a bit redder. So using red is pretty good. And then going after with uh, bright pink and doing some tiny highlight. Just going slow here and not too crazy. So here I don't have eyes to do, which is pretty good, but uh, the glasses. So I'm going for some simple reflection, just a small line with black and white. And the effect is here. So just taking my time, making sure it's, it's clean and the result will be good. Not forgetting to do the ribbon and doing the crystal as well on the, the two parts of the ribbon trying to blend them together blend my highlight and, and the shadow and some small touch on the weapon so here we are everything is done was quite challenging. Um, the bigger the model is, the, the tougher for the paint and the assembling and everything. Here on the base, I had to put some kind of sand on top because after like gluing the whole thing and having some kind of small like defect on it, it was looking really bad. So I had to put some texture just to make it a bit better. Uh, so it might be a bit weird. You don't have to do it, but that's what I ended up doing. And it was nice still like learning a lot of things on this one but uh, quite quite tough to paint for me but i'm finished and happy with this one and see you in the next video